Hello. The middle of last month, December 2016, my best friend suffered a severe stroke. He was in a coma for a little over a week. And when he came out of the coma, he was mostly paralyzed. He was not able to speak. He could blink and he could squeeze with his hands, but little else. He was in there, though. He understood and he could respond and communicate, as it were, by blinking once for yes, twice for no, or squeezing once for yes, twice for no. Being who I am, I immediately started thinking of ways to give him a voice if he never recovered his real voice. And I came up with what I'm here to discuss today. Now there are lots of medical devices out there to help people that are in such situations. They're all very expensive. Um, I wanted to come up with something very affordable, thinking that there's got to be people out there that have lost the ability to speak and are in poor situations or difficult situations or for whatever reason can't afford these extremely expensive devices. And so what I've come up with is a little box that I'm calling DJ Voice. It uses a Raspberry Pi as the computer, has an input on the front for a switch. I'm going to demonstrate it with my Morse code key, but it could be any type of a switch that could be squeezed, or a bite switch, or a blow switch, um, or even some more circuitry that, that senses a muscle twitch from a blink. Any way that somebody in that situation could activate a switch in a pattern will be a perfect input for this device. And what it does is it translates Morse code into speech. A simple alphabet, the Morse code alphabet shown here, um, it's a series of dots and dashes, only 26 symbols that would have to be memorized. And I've got to think that somebody in that situation, trapped within their body, which is just horrible to think about for me, uh, would have a very big incentive to learn a little Morse code if it could give them back the ability to communicate with family, friends, strangers, and so on. So that's what this project is about. So here's the parts we're going to need for the project. You're going to need the computer, a Raspberry Pi Zero. Now Adafruit has a great budget starter pack that includes a power supply, a USB adapter, HDMI adapter. I'll link that below in the description. Definitely the best deal. You'll also need a USB audio interface. Now these are available all over Amazon. They're really cheap. I've seen them as low as five bucks. Now you're going to need a small five volt audio amplifier. Now these have just come out recently. They're all over the place. Again, they're like six, seven dollars. They're next to nothing. But it's got to be a five volt audio amp. You're going to power it off of the five volt pin on the uh, Raspberry Pi. And then some miscellaneous. Uh, you're going to need a, an 8 gig micro SD card, some kind of an input connector, a case, and a little speaker. I'll let you source those. Most people have junk boxes or, or sources where they can find these parts. They're, they're all over the place. So that's your basic parts list. It's not a lot. It's not very expensive. We're probably talking in the arena of $40 to $50 in parts. As far as building it, um, everything is pretty straightforward. The uh, USB adapter that comes with the Pi Zero will let you plug in the audio interface. Um, you'll need to connect the audio interface's headphone output to the audio amp's input. Straightforward enough. The uh, audio amp is going to be powered off the Raspberry Pi, and we'll talk about that in a second. And then, of course, your 8 gig SD card is going to contain the operating system. Now, the operating system. I have created a custom Raspbian image that boots right into software that does the Morse code decoding. To do the Morse code decoding, I discovered that the Raspberry Pi organization already had on their website a tutorial uh, involving decoding Morse code. It was made for students and it was written in Python. Now I had to do some modifications and updates to get it to work on the current Raspbian, but it worked out as a great base program upon which to build this project. I've modified it to include the eSpeak library. I optimized a few things about the lookup table for Morse and so on. I'll have the complete source code listed on the blog post that accompanies this video. Um, 
The other things I had to do on Raspbian was I had to fix some eSpeak errors and I had to fix some ALSA errors uh, and get it all tidied up to boot right into the software. So that image is linked on my blog post, which is below. Uh, you can go there and you can download the image. Uh, dump it onto your 8 gig SD card. There's plenty of tutorials on how to do that on the web. I'm not going to waste much time in this video talking about that, but I'm sure you can. If you're, if you're here and you're interested in Raspberry Pis, you know how to dump an image onto an SD card. So download that image, unzip it, dump it to the SD card, plug it into the Raspberry Pi Zero, and when you power up, uh, it will boot, it'll take about 15 to 20 seconds, and it'll boot right into the software, and it'll begin decoding Morse code and speaking. Now, uh, about the Raspberry Pi Zero, let's talk about the GPIO pins that we're going to use. Now, we've only got three connections from the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi. The switch that you use is going to be connected to ground GP4, or pin 7, as you see here. Um, that can be any type of a switch, as we discussed, squeeze switch, blow switch, whatever, whatever works for the person you're trying to help. And then right above the ground pin, you have the 5-volt power pin that we're going to tap to feed the audio amplifier. Should be enough current there to handle this small amplifier in this small application. So that's the only connections you need to make to the Raspberry Pi. Obviously, you want to be careful with that 5-volt connection. It's right next to ground. Make sure you don't do a solder bridge there or short it. Um, that would be bad. So it's a fairly simple and straightforward project to put together, and it works very, very well. This is my build. As you can see, I've got a little metal box. There's the volume control for the audio, the input for the switch. The speaker is mounted up here. And the USB power adapter, the 2-amp power adapter, just goes in the back. So it couldn't be simpler. Let's go down to the bench and I'll open it up and show you what the inside looks like. Well, it's a prototype, so it's not quite as neat and clean and tidy as I'd like it to be. But we have the audio amplifier here, which is a runoff 5 volts. And it's tapped off of the 5 volt GPIO pin on the Raspberry Pi Zero. The uh, USB power coming in here powers the Pi and the amplifier. Speakers mounted in the top of the case there. And uh, yeah, I know, I just coiled up a long eighth inch patch cord. Like I said, it's a prototype. I just wanted to get it all together in a case for show. So it's just really kind of crammed in there. I, I didn't do it too neat because this is really a prototype. In a final version, I'd have proper cable lengths and so on and so forth. Now, how about a demo? OK, so we're set up for a demo. I've got my homemade Morse key plugged into the switch on the front, and I'm just going to plug in power to the Raspberry Pi. Now you should see a little red light showing up there in the front. It's now booting up. It's going to take about 15 to 20 seconds. And when it is booted up, we shall hear it speak the word ready to let us know that it's ready to start decoding Morse code. Any moment now. ready. There we go. So now it's ready. There'll be a feedback tone when I press the key to make it easy for somebody to know that they're actually keying in code. So we'll do a simple letter like the letter A. A. And as you can see it speaks the letter. B. B. Any letter you want. Let's spell out DJ voice. D. J. V. O. I. C. E. So as you can see, works pretty good. Simple to operate, easy enough for anybody to put together and use. That's the, the DJ voice. So there you go. A, a device, a simple box that could perhaps help somebody out, give someone a voice that has lost theirs, and give them the ability to communicate. I hope that this works. I hope that somebody somewhere finds this, builds it, and lets me know, hey, 
my uncle has been suffering for months with with ALS and we haven't been able to talk to him as well as we'd like and and your box allows him now to spell out words and, and we're having wonderful conversations with him again you know some story like that would just make my day you might wonder why I named it DJ voice well it doesn't stand for disc jockey I won't reveal his name to protect his family but uh, my friend had a second stroke and uh, he didn't survive so I decided to name it that sort of as a tribute to him for inspiring me to uh, create it in the first place so thank you for watching and taking the time and if you enjoyed the video, hey, give me a thumbs up. And if you could share it, um, I'd really like this to be spread. I'd love to, to get it out there so that hopefully the people that could use it can find it. Um, and uh, thanks, as always, for, for your time and attention.